Oh, sun's exploding. Construction was never finished. Was it abandoned or did something happen in the Noma here? Why am I moving? The probe down on the observation deck is certainly used for research of some sort. But what were they studying? There's also that device mounted to the probe. I know I've seen devices like it in other Nomai ruins, but this one seems to be deactivated. Oh hey, I just spotted a supernova while taking down camp. Those are normally pretty rare and neat. Where am I going? Astral Codec is the biggest Outer Wilds story mod to be released recently, with three to four hours of content to explore. This is going to be a somewhat blind playthrough. I actually took part in an early playtest of the mod about a year ago, but a lot of stuff has changed since then, and there wasn't even an ending back then. Now, if you have Outer Wilds on PC and haven't played the mod yet, I totally recommend leaving the video now and playing through it yourself. In death, a new mystery will be revealed. So I guess that's what we're going off of when starting this mod. Don't know what that means. All right, so yeah, I'm on a new save. I got to get the launch codes. <laughs> Everyone calls. I'm ready to get off this rock. So in death, I knew something or other is revealed, huh? I will immediately attempt hotshot, and if I fail, then I will go into the sun and burn to death. I think I'm gonna fail and burn to death. Reveal the mystery to me. Oh. That's the... the probe tracking module, and then it showed the eye. <laughs> I think what's the best way to get to the station? Or the orbital probe cannon rather. I think we come in a bit of an angle. Arrow break. Pop back up above the clouds. And here we are. Ready? I have my suit on, and we get right into the airlock. So yeah, it was the symbol with like a bunch of things coming off of it, so that's this one. And it is, yeah, as I suspected, that was the probe tracking module. Alright, so probe track module's gone. I'm like, I'm like, should I look around for the sake of, you know, really retreading these old locations since I haven't played the game in so long, or should I just immediately go to where I think I have to go? No point beating around the bush. I've played the game before, and I know where it went. Alright, so, no, they're turning the same direction, you're turning the opposite direction. This puts us beneath the current. Like, I do hate this part. <laughs> it's, it's not dark bramble, but it's pretty close. A jellyfish is on its way up, and by entering inside the jellyfish you are insulated <laughs> from this massive uh, electrical field. So yeah, I'm trying to remember like what I did in the playtest. I like vaguely recall that maybe I had to do this, but I do, I really do not remember what I had done. So I especially remember that there was not an ending at that point, so...
And we have safely passed through it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I feel like I normally wind up on the other side from this. And here we are at the probe tracking module. Nicely hidden away. What's this? Secondary probe projection stone. Anomaly matching partial criteria for the eye of the universe impacted by probe 7,800, no, 78,809 coordinates recorded. Firing signal, firing signal received. Retrieving stored coordinates. Launching secondary probe. Secondary probe arrived at destination. Initiating visual link. Projection stone generated. Connection unstable. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. We got like a sphere of water. We got a black hole. We got a cube. Oh. We got the probe. We got the solar system. Why do I only see Brittle Hollow? Okay, <laughs> the other planets are just over here. So we are either far above or far below the solar system. Planets are spinning clockwise. So <laughs> I guess that'll tell us what side we're on. Am I able to uh, throw you in this? Or will you just repeat what was written over there? You have nothing to say. All right, well, let's put you back. And while we're here, since I'm on a fresh save, let's just nab these. Uh-huh. Bring stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. Actually, I'm curious. If we go back, it'll tell us which probe found it. I'm curious. Yeah, so it was like 78,000 for the anomaly that it ran into. Um, retrieving previous launch data. Okay, 9 million. Yeah, so 78,000. They found this other thing pretty soon. Or pretty, you know, quickly relative to how long this thing's been firing for. I'll just meditate. While this is a fresh save, I have a mod installed that just keeps that enabled because I have not spoken to Gabbro yet. So. I'm cheating. So I am starting to remember some like initial things or some things from my like first playthrough forever ago. Like I do remember that projection pool, the sort of like way that it brings you to it and this whole bit about a partial probe that wasn't in the, the old version I played. So that's pretty cool. So if they're orbiting clockwise, from here they're orbiting counterclockwise, so I must have been below the plane of the solar system. Right, you guys are going counterclockwise, so it was down here. <laughs> Now, I don't know to what extent, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, to what extent can I just go down and hope that I find it? 
but it ended up being pretty easy. So yeah, there you go. You can see that I'm just locked onto something down here. Oh, what am I... Right, yeah, I mean, that's... Uh-huh. Oh, wow. There's quite the structure down there. Only viewable with my probe. Right, yeah, because I mean, you can see that the... This is pulling me in. <laughs> landing camera works as well of course so I am now landed on it and you get this in photo mode oh that's weird oh and you're like embedded into it Said uh, there's a signal nearby. Oh, I didn't realize this was on the surface of it. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'll do it to you. Um, excuse me? Oh, that's just a supernova. Hey. How are you doing? Um, okay. Oh wow, yeah, there's like vegetation or something growing down there. Yeah, in the playtest, this area was nowhere near as detailed. Oh. Do have <laughs> some no my technology in here? I love the chimes. Okay, what's going on? System status report: Neuralink status online, connected to hatchling, space-time stabilizer active, probe communication transmitter operational. Astral Codex status, transmission successful, data integrity 99.998%, translation status complete, time since transmission 125,265 125, giga hours. I wonder how many days is, is in a giga hour. Full geode stability. Primary fuel geode damaged. Leak detected. Secondary fuel geode intact. Tertiary fuel geode injected in transit. Scanning for missing geode. Oh, that would be that big rock up there. Missing geode located. Activating suppression. Uncontained fuel detected. Rupture confirmation. Uh huh. And with that, <laughs> danger ghost matter detected nearby. I'm gonna say that's your fuel. Is that what the sphere of water is? The uh, leak suppression? 
Sample collection report item contained singularities. Quantity 4, time retrieved T minus 120 hours. Status containment broken, two lost in transit. You're saying two singularities were lost. You dropped two black holes. Uh huh, well, my translator can't read that. My translator can't read this either, but I can tell the planet when I see it. So, Twins, Timber Highs, Brittle Hollow, Giants Deep, Dark Bramble, some cryptic phrase. Is this pushing? Oh, wow. Alright. Where'd that send my scout? Into Timber Hearth. What the? Okay, I don't want to do that quite yet. I will follow it through. I just want to see. Can I identify you without dying? Please? Oh, I cannot. <laughs> okay. I would say like I can wait for the water to come around, but like you can't you can't detect signals underwater. Okay, so what do we have? We have something about the planets. Is this more water? Oh. You go up into this thing. This reminds me a lot of, and, and spoilers for the DLC, but they have like some uh, sort of like original design plans where it was going to be, the main setting would be this like coin world that had two sides, like a dark side and a light side. And I imagine that's what uh, this has been inspired by, which is very cool to see. Sample collection report. Item campfire. Time retrieved T minus 120 hours. Retrieving pre-recorded note from Explorer. I knew it. Constant of the universe. Uh -huh. so this gives you the option to doze off here. So apart from just being some nice world building, I'm going to assume that there are some time-specific uh, puzzles to be completed. Or maybe marshmallow specific puzzles. You never know. Delicious. Oh, that healed me completely from that ghost matter. Right, so. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. That's not good. We got a bunch of things up here that are all plugged into this and they seem to be powered off if I go back to the other side they come through these things so I imagine it's you know you solve this puzzle it turns on the other thing I missed my window to try to scan this again imagine too the like yeah, look at that and see, because I'm on this frequency now. I can see the other frequencies in the same... Uh, other signals on the same frequency in the distance. So I need to identify this frequency to be able to track those. Which, you know, again, now that this is all refreshing my memory, I think, yeah, that was, that was definitely something that was in the playtest I did. Nothing like this. Nothing so detailed. I didn't think this would be the direction they'd take it in. It looks very cool. I'm gonna try <laughs> this. Okay, yeah, see? Oh no, you can! Okay, you can do it. Chime transmitter, frequency discovered astral codec. Nice. Okay, you can do it underwater. I thought you couldn't.
Okay, so that's the main other thing I wanted to get here. I don't think there's much else I can do here. So I think I will... Well, there's two black holes. Well, I can just come back here. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so that just takes me to a location on Timberhearth where there is ghost matter. Oh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, this is the same one. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, there's one on either side. No, this is just the same one. It's like right in the middle. So all I can really do now is investigate those signals. So what do we have? That's Bramble. That's... The twins, I'm not going to go to the twins because the sun's about to explode, so I'll just go to Bramble. Like, yeah, what am I seeing out here? Is this just all the, <laughs> all the ghost matter in the world? I was going to say, everything seems a lot darker now, but I guess it's just... That I'm seeing everything a little green. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> this was not here before. Oops, that is not the right button. I'll read the ship lines later. I was like, what is that? This giant's deep. Wow, yeah, that looks... That sure is something else. Okay, so we've explored this before. Church research notes. Property of church... Why are... I was kind of moving around a bit there. Oh, sun's exploding. It's the only not. Well, looks like construction was never finished. Was it abandoned, or did something happen in the Noma here? Why am I moving? The probe down on the observation deck is certainly used for research of some sort. But what were they studying? There's also that device mounted to the probe. I know I've seen devices like it in other Nomai ruins, but this one seems to be deactivated. Oh hey, I just spotted a supernova while taking down camp. Those are normally pretty rare and neat. Where am I going? Oh, giant steep grabbed me. No, that's quite all right. I'll pass. <laughs> that is fun too. This is really giving uh, the same sort of vibes you get from the Outsider, which is the other like really big polished story mod with like the really detailed uh, dark bramble. Stop trying to pull me off the ground, please. I do not much appreciate it. Oh, this guy gets very colorful. Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess this is just my life now. Nice late. 
you notice the sky is green? Looks perfectly normal to me. You sure you're alright? I know Chert and Ryback both get a little green around the gills before a takeoff, but never like this. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, I want to finish up that dark bramble camp. I said this in previous modded playthroughs, but it's just it's because I normally play on mouse and keyboard. I have a mechanical keyboard. It's very loud when I try to record. So I'm just not used to using a, a gamepad. Okay, I want to double check. Because <laughs> I, I skipped a sentence uh, of what Shirt was saying. So, Perfect Shirt, only known know my construction on Dark Bramble. Interestingly, its material places it as one of the newest no my structures I've explored. But it was never finished. They're researching something, device mounted the probe. Yep. Oh hey, I spotted a supernova, etc. Um cool. <laughs> It'd be fun to have this mod on with the outsider mod installed, because then like Dark Bramble is just gonna be covered in <laughs> no my ruins. Is that a probe going into Bramble and to the vessel? Kosa. I hope that's how you say that. Exploration log. Within the fractal spaces of Dark Bramble, the probe has picked up the distress beacon of Escape Pod 3. I know there cannot possibly be any survivors after all these years, yet I still find comfort being close to you once more fully. Yeah, this is mostly Nomai, but then we have this. Translation probe thicket. These are really cool. They look like, uh, well, they look like, uh, I guess, is that what viruses or bacteria? Viruses. Oh, I want to say viruses look like that. Yeah, I'm not over that yet. It looks really nice. Okay. We got some ghost matter. That tractor beam takes you out of here. Uh huh. Ooh, that's cool looking. I don't know what that does. Can I just go in through the basement? Going up on the roof. No. Here all I see is the exit. Oh geez, that's uh your Cosa. Well at least you're close to Foley. Oh hey. That's a very warp pad like. Uh huh. That's in Bramble. Because, yeah, on that probe down there, it looked like a warp pad exit, and then on the thing inside that little temple looking thing, uh, you could briefly make out that there was a warp pad entrance. Oh, is that Escape Pod 3?
Oh, I can use the return pad. That's clever. I hadn't even thought about that. I was just like, yeah, I'll find my scout. That's clever. Okay. So since my scout went through this, it activated the return pad, and you know what, just in case. Or no, actually, because now my ship's out there. Well, I'll just meditate. <laughs> I was going to say, if I ever need to come back in here, I'll prep the warp pad, but no, I mean... Okay, we got a scroll. Is that it in here? I wonder what this was for then. Like, could they have just gone through and gotten to Escape Pod Three and then brought back? I mean, you know, morbidly just corpses, but you know, at least you get them a, <laughs> a proper burial or something. I don't, I don't know what no might do with their dead. All right. Well. Is there even a wall I can put this into? To read it? Oh well. Oh. Yeah. And then there's another scroll. There better be a whiteboard here. <laughs> if there was a whiteboard in there, I'm gonna kick myself. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh no? Oh bueno? Oh bueno. Oh no. Oh no. This research station has been established to study the spatial distortions located within Dark Bramble. Psyket. Our clan has spent far too long ignoring this place as a result of the tragedy that occurred here. So that makes sense then with what Church said about this being the most recent uh, looking Nomai structure that the Harthians have found. Of course they would come here last after <laughs> everyone died here. Uh, oh no. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh no. I am pleased to report that our research is progressing rapidly. We have determined that the space within Dark Bramble is distorted to an impossible degree. This space cannot possibly exist within a single location. Psychad. Hypothesis. When an object or entity enters Dark Bramble, the interior manifests elsewhere within a pocket of space linked to this one. This manifestation would exert a repelling force on objects in its surroundings, even when unoccupied. By studying the sky after an object has entered Dark Bramble, we believe we have located the space the interior occupies. Coleus informs us that the phenomenon is most unsettling to observe. The psychic says this phenomenon may prove to have untapped comical potential. I am eager to observe the reactions of Lammy, Levy, and Taggett, the children, upon first sighting of the eclipse. Psychad. The comet spire detected is entering the system. Oeno and I will be rejoining the rest of the clan to await news from the expedition team. Further exploration of this phenomenon must wait for a subsequent time. Yeah, and uh, we know how that went. And now this is a really weird looking... Uh, scroll. Life located. Fifth orbit from sun. Communication detected. Mimicking local medium. Retrieving relevant log entry. Search query eclipse. Time recorded T minus 125,000 giga hours. Same as previously. Log author. Explorer. Error. Translation incomplete. All right, log time. Nothing of note, just more empty space. Scientist says we'll arrive at a new system next cycle. Maybe we'll finally encounter another civilization. We haven't added anything to our transmission for the Astral Codec in a while. I hope the next body we dock at has a flammable atmosphere. It's been so long since our last campfire. Do you think... Do you think the there... That should be that, right? Do you think that there will still be campfires after? Surely there will. So many bodies have them. 
they're constant to the universe. Okay, that makes sense. That was in the inside their their spaceship. Oh, it said like, "Aha, a campfire." It's a constant of the universe. Well, there you go. Wait, but what about marshmallows? Okay, so these are like some other aliens talking. Archivist was talking again this cycle about needing to test the recipient's technology. It's the most he's talked in a long time. Kept going on and on about the sun and spheres and a total eclipse. Okay, you said translation incomplete, but now you're... You're using the word eclipse. <laughs> it's strange how much he insists on this additional... Safeguard. When he's usually so worried about any possible chance that the... The thread we're starting might break. Right. So we can see that, like, in these phrases, in these sentences, they have certain letters replaced with symbols. And we saw in their, in the, the lingering chime, that some of these symbols were missing. Or not missing, that there were these symbols written on the ground. So I'm going to mark down, I just grabbed a pad of paper. I'll mark down some translations, I guess. So campfire, the plus sign is P, still, sort of square bracket, is an I, that slash is an N, get any in here, yes, arrive, semicolon is an A, uh, is that an ampersand? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Weird looking B is an E. Next cycle, too. Are they talking about like how the universe is gonna die? Most. Curly bracket is an S. Safeguard. A period is a U. A dash is a W. Um. Oh. What happened to have done this? I do not know what triggered this. Excuse me? <laughs> You're loading? And then it has the eye out there too. Okay, yeah, so the little like swirly bit comes from the eye, goes to you. I was going to say, are you meant to represent their ship under the plane of the solar system? But no, because from that perspective, the planets rotate clockwise? No, they were rotating counterclockwise, right? No, they were rotating clockwise, because here they're rotating counterclockwise. Things come from the eye. Okay, yeah, you're on one of the twins. That's where one of the signals is. And then there's another one over here on Bramble, which was... Another place that had a signal. Oh, there it is. They <laughs> even. Yeah, so like my most popular YouTube video is about this because this is actually like a base game sort of quirk where you know they do need to actually put the interior of dark bramble somewhere so they put it in this like massive black sphere underneath the sun and this mod has sort of like you know retconned that because this isn't supposed to be like something in the game you're not supposed to look at it you're never supposed to notice it and then you're not supposed to like think that it's like a mechanic or whatever but now this mod is sort of like retconned it into being, you know, intentional. And they even added little uh, bramble thorns coming out of it, which is quite cute. So what I'm imagining, and this isn't, you know, me knowing things in advance because of the playtest, this is like... Uh, not stuff that was in it, 
But so I'm imagining you have these aliens. I'm just letting it fill out all this. Uh huh. Yeah, and it all goes back to the astral codec. I'm imagining that this is like them cataloging the universe. You know, they're like, oh, I hope we find more information for our next transmission to the astral codec. I imagine it's some like catalog. Um, they also said like until next cycle, which I imagine, you know, knowing <laughs> the ending to this game, that, you know, next cycle is going to be the next universe. And that they're trying to like, you know, gather as much information as they can about our current universe before the next one starts. Okay. <laughs> That was a little close. Um, oh! <laughs> wow. Uh, wouldn't you know? Chime transmitter. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you were a, re a regular. Wait, how do I. Okay. Oh, no. These are all. Oh, I even knocked one over. These are all like weird crystalline replicants. They're trying to like. You recreate you know, my writing and artifacts out of their crystal stuff. Retrieving relevant log entries, search query shuttle and thrive. Time recorded again 125 giga hours ago. And scientists wrote this. Or they were talking, there was like there was scientist, there was archivist. These aliens, you know, are just referred to by their job, I guess. Position assumed, detecting warp technology, scanning environs, located new parley. Right, so they're they're like seeking out text. Research log. Cycle 8195. Okay, if my universe theory is right, that's a lot of universes. If our codec transmission is discovered by an unprepared party. It would only incite fear in an event which cannot be averted. Okay, yeah, so, end of the universe. Um, I'm also going to mark down these letters so that dash is, well, an L, so <laughs> looks like an L already. Safeguards must be established to ensure it can only be accessed by those who can continue the thread. Oh, so is the point being that I have no access to it? And that I will go on to go to the eye of the universe and continue the thread? Research log. Cycle 8198. Okay, no. That's, uh, that is not universes then. Unless, oh, it's doing the weird thing again. <laughs> uh, there will be two initial safeguards. One, to test shuttle technology and expansion beyond the recipient's home body and another requested by Explorer to ensure a thriving culture of sufficient scale. So question mark is O, and this sort of left facing curly bracket or, is, or square bracket is R. Ensure a thriving culture of sufficient scale. Cycle 8198 continued. Strangely, Archivist has advocated, so the asterisk is a C, for a tertiary safeguard although the details of its implementation are not yet clear. So I think th this is like the... I think there were like three things in that main station. There was like, there was tally marks, there was one with planets. I think in my ship log it showed like the three of them all listed together. And I take it, yeah, those are the safeguards. Research log, cycle 8183. We don't have much time. A mere few hundred cycles? That bracket is an F. At most, Archivist is busy collating data for Explorer's astral codec idea. It's good that he has something to do. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're not living through multiple universes if they're only just coming up with the astral codec. Our discovery impacted him the hardest of us. Is your discovery that the universe is going to end, or am I just... Am I just <laughs> blindly guessing at this point? Research log, cycle 8206. I am experiencing difficulties with our ship's computer. Archivist has left it, 
has left it set to visual output again. However, that has me... What has me mystified is that Explorer has somehow taught it to rhyme. Yeah, dash is W. That is consistent um, with the last place. I already have that written down. So cool. That's like the tally marks. That's... I don't know what, I'm going to say that's the tertiary safeguard because even they didn't know what it was going to be. And this is the one about the planets. So I take it that this is like sufficient, this is like expansion. They're saying something about expansion, like shuttle capability and expansion. And then this is like sufficient population. So wait, yeah, what am I looking at here? Anona, welcome to Ember Twin, my friends. It is good to see you again after so long apart. Observation. We must develop a better means of interplanetary travel so that we can be properly reunited. Perhaps warp travel could be recreated with the right equipment. Reunion Memorial. Thatch. Greetings, Aunt Malore. It has been too long since we were separated. I brought you something. Take care of this tree from Brittle Hollow. Let it mark the site of our clan's reunion. Do ensure it does not invade this planet's biosphere. Right, yeah, this is a real hollow tree. So, yeah, this is, um... The Nomai who are stranded on Ember Twin and on Brittle Hollow eventually made it back to each other. Kosa, Foley, you didn't make it out, did you? And Kosa is the one who was, uh... Who made that encampment on Dark Bramble, and whose corpse we saw. So is this. We have failed, Anona. Though the fault does not lie with the warp core I crafted, I cannot help but feel some responsibility. Hypothesis. Had I better understood your designs, less energy would have been required. However, despite this doubt, and the struggle of living without you, I will press on. Like this tree before me, we know my can thrive even in an environment far from our home. I depart soon to explore the comet alongside Pi and Clary. However, when I return, I will investigate any way to reduce the energy the warp core requires, perhaps with more precision. The possibilities of the Ash Twin project still excite me. Once we have found the eye, imagine what else we could achieve with this technology. With a negative time interval on this scale, we could potentially duplicate matter, or even one of us. I spoke of this to Root when we installed the Ash Twin Project's advanced warp core. Imagine, temporal clones could be used to temporarily increase the population of our clan. How would it feel to work alongside a future version of yourself? <laughs> I've been troubled. Targeting that? Clary, hypothesis. Two of you would be too much for the fabric of space-time or me to handle. Come, sister. The shuttle is almost ready. Nice world building, though that is. Explorer requests they have a thriving culture of sufficient scale. Are we at a point where for a Harthian culture to be of sufficient scale, I have to duplicate myself with the Ash Twin project? After all, you know, how many tally marks are there on this? Uh, 23. I don't know how many Harthians are in the village. <laughs> but if there's 22, well, not in the village, but you know, total. If there's 22, I could get us to 23, but the fabric of space-time is not going to be happy. Right, yeah, so, we have the memorial to know my reunion. Poke believed that you could duplicate people using the Ashtwin project, which I know to be the case because I've played this game before, and that's one of the funny, uh, quirky special endings so that you duplicate yourself and destroy the fabric of space-time. There are a lot of symbols scattered throughout the message, which I have written down on a piece of paper. This, you know, I would just, you know, jump down there and duplicate myself, but, like, that will destroy the fabric of space-time. I don't want to... <laughs> I want to do that as, like, a last resort kind of thing. Yeah, right? So this is, like, the tally display. Oh, and you can see, actually, that it has 22 fully marked but the last one is not and also i was gonna say oh i'm gonna have to go back to that place to translate these but no i can just read them in here uh, these things are written down on paper 
So let me see if I can actually do this yet. Curly bracket is an S. We know that from Dark Bramble. Plus is a P, also from Bramble. Uh, semicolon is an A. Asterisk is a C. We just figured that out. Ampersand is an E. Uh, another asterisk, that's a C. R, semicolon A. A regular parenthesis is an F. Curly bracket, that is a T. So it reads spacecraft. So we see a picture of every single planet, and it's a spacecraft underneath. So that is, you know, uh, possessing, you know, good enough spacecraft or whatever else they were saying. Now this one here, I'll say population. And this, that looks, well now that looks like a picture of the sun. Just looked like a circle on the other one, but. <laughs> now you are ampersand E, asterisk, C, L, Oh, this will be Eclipse. So we have Spacecraft, Population, Eclipse. There's more to explore here. What have I missed? Oh! <laughs> Translation probe sender. There you go. I just forgot to identify the signal. That should be everything there, right? No! <laughs> missing fuel geode. A piece of the structure is broken off and is missing. A computer log describes a fuel geode breaking off and rupturing. And I will say, <laughs> they give this away in the description of the mod because they say it's about the origin of the interloper. And the fuel geode, how they have like ghost matter up in their ship. They talk about fuel leaks. I can see ghost matter now. Don't suppose anything down there is related to this up here, do we? I'll just double check. But yeah, as I was saying, the interloper is the missing fuel tank. Certainly. Okay, yeah, this is uh, them being reunited. Spire. We will need to build a gravity cannon here in Ember Twin to allow for shuttle travel back to Brittle Hollow. This model can be used as reference for the full-scale construction and to send small objects until construction is complete. Despite its scale, this model operates at full power. Be careful when near it. Stepping inside will result in a rapid trip to orbit. Oh, it's Costa again, hey. We must be cautious once the cannon is complete. Multiple test launches from the model have collided with Ash Twin. Such a collision would surely be fatal for any passengers. I mean, <laughs> I gotta do it though. <laughs> I was at this point, I'm like, is that base game? I don't think so. That's not base game. Is that mural base game? Like, no, because this. Yeah, this is like the secret entrance way for getting into like the high energy lab or something. Yeah, they even have the elevator up and down. Okay, no, that is part of the mod. They do a good job of blending it in though. I'd love to see like what someone's playthrough of this game would look like playing, you know, the base game, the DLC, and then this mod, and just seeing all these different things. Okay, yeah, so that is everything here. The Nome I feared that a shuttle colliding with Ash Twin would be fatal. In the base game, they make like this really big effort to ensure, you know, that there's like no unimportant stuff, right? Like sort of everything that gets said isn't important in some way. Is this important just in saying that like, oh yeah, try not to die? Or does it does it do something? Is that some important knowledge for me to beat the mod. Although yeah, should I go look into the missing fuel geode that I know to certainly be the interloper? Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit that. Oh, that's fine. 
Any landing you walk away from. I had noticed when going to the lingering chime, I was like, oh yeah, that is like, because I, I mean, I knew, <laughs> I was going to say, because I knew, I know where the, the interior of Dark Bramble is, but I actually only figured that out when I originally playtested this mod, so I'm, I'm kind of going in circles there. So it is more just interesting that, yeah, this is where the inside of Dark Bramble is. And while I have not, when I did my playtest, I didn't do much beyond what I've done right now. But yeah, so interior Dark Bramble is right there. So if you were to put something in Dark Bramble and then go to Lingering Chime, it would, you know, block out the sun. Which is strange though, right? Did did Explorer, I think it was, or was it Archivist? Whichever one of them decided that that would be a thing that they do. You know, did they know that Dark Bramble was there? And they were like, oh yeah, the safeguard is going to be that you figure out the Dark Bramble puzzle. Or was the safeguard like, oh yeah, if you can just make eclipses happen, you know, you're good. No, oh. <laughs> I'm thrusting down as much as I can. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a much different experience. I don't need my scout launcher at all. Well, no, I take that back. I do need my scout launcher. Yeah, and then poke and pie. We're receiving much stronger energy readings. Coming from the center of the thing. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. And then they all died. That one's hazardous. It's this one that's okay, I think, right? I've said it before about other mods, but I love... When they sort of make you like retread something from the base game but in a different light you know it gives you like a new appreciation for it like it's really cool to go through here and to be able to now see the ghost matter and avoid it myself kind of keeps it fresh this sort of like scaffolding in the ceiling if i hadn't gone to the other thing would i only be able to see you on my camera here yeah there's this sort of scaffolding we saw through the floor and obviously this is like <laughs> one of the most tragic locations in the game the spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings no rather the source is what's within the stone I'm detecting some form of exotic matter the stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I, as far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. If only they had time to relocate underwater. Fuel unstable, deploying liquid to neutralize. Progress, 84%. Fuel remains fatal, liquid frozen into ice. I've never before had to change pages on one of these, so I really hope that I haven't been missing something. I don't think any of them were recording, were recorders like this. Warning, breach scenario in progress. Retrieving pre-recorded message. Time recorded, T minus 125 giga hours. Author, well, 125 thousand giga hours author scientist evacuate immediately if you're reading this message something has gone terribly wrong the fuel contained within this geode is exceedingly dangerous and contact with it must be avoided at all costs i can only hope that any reader is aquatic and might thus escape the blast you must understand that despite the risks despite the terrible acts committed using it on our home body this fuel was the only viable option Easily compressed and energy dense enough to last the eons necessary. 
that's now uh, <laughs> that's now two story mods that have had uh, some sort of nuclear apocalypse occur on a planet through the use of ghost matter weapons, presumably. Despite the other two's objections, our mission is too important to risk. Even should the unthinkable happen and a breach occur, a successful transmission will still have been worth it. Mm, yeah, wiped out an entire civilization though, but I am sorry. Geode breached, fuel dispersed, life signs dwindling, as stars at the end of a universe. Connection lost. Right, you fellas got a bit poetic there. Okay, updating <laughs> my uh, prediction. They're trying to send a transmission to the next universe. Detailing, you know, a catalog of what was in this one. Don't think there's much else to do, but meditate. These Astral Kodak fellas, uh... Got spaceships that run on ghost matter. Uh, they killed all the Nomai. <laughs> uh, they are invisible. <laughs> they got three safeguards in place in order to send a message. I can translate this at least. Dash is a W. Wait here. I wonder what these guys are going to do when they <laughs> localize their mod. They're going to have to change all the pictures now. Yeah, I really do wonder how are they going to do it. Cause that would be a pain. I it wouldn't be that well, it'd be a pain to change these. You can, like, if this is just a font, you know, it could just be a text object. I'm I'm peering behind the curtain real hard right now. I should just enjoy the mod instead of thinking about how the sausage is made, as it were. Yeah, so I kinda got everything. I guess it really is just like, yeah, put these pieces together here. And to clone myself. Could this mean, you know, travel to every planet? Plus, I mean, we got ships on other planets. Surely they could be like, yeah, Gabriel's on Giant Steep. Like, we're basically on every single planet. Ta-da. I have a probe in Dark Bramble. And now when I lift off, there's the Bramble Eclipse. I gotta go around it to get to the chime. Plus, this thing just freaks me out, man. Okay, you can't tell me that's not freaky. Anything related to Bramble, I'm like, no, no thank you. <laughs> well, there's your eclipse. Yeah, I'm looking at this again, okay, yeah, you can see... ...that this is sort of where the interloper... Oh, <laughs> like broken scaffolding, of course, and that's why there is that scaffolding down in there. So I guess it was right. It was the geode broke free. They tried to neutralize it by covering it in water. And yeah, we can see this green uh, whatever. <laughs> that, 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 that wire used to be red. It's green now. This... well it starts and ends with the same letter, so this is Eclipse. <laughs> Those are E's. Yeah, this is Eclipse. And then that... Right, yeah, you got the three things feeding into this. Oh, and this is now on. Oh, and this now has writing. Very nice. Homeworld. Crystal lattices partitioning the sky. Untold galaxies, a myriad of bodies within. The thread cannot break, we cannot all be forgotten. Not even by the death of a universe. Says the archivist. Right, so it, it really is that they're trying to get a message to the next universe. Yeah, this must get filled out by duplicating yourself in the Ash Twin Project. Uh, this must, yeah, this is the one that says wait here. Oh, what? <laughs> Didn't have to wait that long. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
And now you're pointing. But yeah, this is population, surely this is pointing at everyone in the village. Ask her on the Owl Rock. Uh, nobody's on the interloper. Gabbro. On Giant's Deep. I don't know what the other thing I'd be pointing at is. Got Shirt. We got Ryback. It's even pointing at the Quantum Moon. The Solemn Count? <laughs> Four Singularities. Two lost in transit. Or do you count as a singularity? It's just one's a black hole, one's a white hole. Is that it? Oh, two are lost in transit. There's the two in the... In the... Oh, I need fuel. Two in the waterfall. Yes. You used to transmit a message from a dying universe with hope to be remembered. And let's translate it. A... S, oh, says Astral Codec. <laughs> the other curly brace is a T. Yeah, it says, yeah, it says Astral Codec. After standing on a marked platform for a few seconds, I can see green trails emanating from the nearby device, connected to points throughout the solar system. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. So the purple trails. And that's pointing at my ship. Uh-huh, so the purple trails, are they pointing at the planets, or are they pointing at... Oh, <laughs> so you can see it in the map, that's fun. Right, so the purple trails point at planets that have ships on them. That must be it, right? Like, the interloper has a shuttle. Brutal Hollow has Rybeck's ship. Gabbro's ship. Gabbro's floating in space right now. So we need a ship on Dark Bramble. Because the only thing that I could think, and it, it feels like it would be a big ask from a story mod, would be, like, do I need, if I need to put a ship on every planet, do I need to fly an my shuttle? Because where are the shuttles? There's a shuttle on the interloper, which is good, that needs to stay there. Is that from you? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, and your shuttle's on the quantum moon. Okay, so that's fine, actually. We wouldn't want to recall those. So I think it really would be that I would just have to leave my ship on Timber Hearth. Not on Timber Hearth. <laughs> on Dark Bramble. And then come back here. Easier said than done. I just want to really double check. Yeah, it is... The purple one's coming out of here. In here? Or no, because Feldspar's in Dark Bramble. What am I talking about? So there's no ship on the Ash Twin. Oh yeah, that turned the sun back on. Does that unpower? No. Yes. Yeah, that's now red. Okay. <laughs> so that was a bad call. Um, yeah, I'm going to put you here. I'm going to go to Ash Twin, and I'm going to see if that lights this up. Because if that lights up, then... Good. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's fun. Now, how would I get back down there? Oh yeah, it's the Ash Twin. I could use a warp tower to get to Timber Hearth, and then use one of the one of the black holes in uh, in that waterfall to get to the Lingering Chime. So here you go. I'm parked on Ash Twin. I get up. Yeah, every planet's lit up. So it is that. It's a ship on every single planet. There was no ship on Ash Twin. I think what I might do then is I might just go duplicate myself now. Sure. 
but okay. So game plan is start on Timber Hearth. I shoot my probe through the Dark Bramble Seed there, which will eclipse the sun. One safeguard down. Or actually, we're going to start with one safeguard down because I will be duplicated in the Ash Twin. I shoot the probe through there, two safeguards down. Fly to Ash Twin. There is now a ship on every single planet. All safeguards are done. I will use an Ash Twin Warp Tower to warp myself to Timber Hearth. Then, hmm. It's because like when you do that, you break the fabric of space time, <laughs> you know? So that it's like, okay, I, I, I've passed all the safeguards. They're able to send their message into the next universe. But now I have broken the fabric of space time. The next universe never ends, it never begins. This one just ends instantly, presumably. And then, yeah, so what exactly, what exactly was gained? But they've specifically said to jump in. Can I just go in, talk to my clone, and be like, hey, just jump back through the black hole forever? And that probably works, kinda, not really. Uh huh. Y'all got any campfires? I'm bored. Okay, fine, I'll go back, I'll wait. Should have thrown a campfire in the Ash Twin project. I wonder if the chime does anything interesting as the sun explodes, you know? Does it back up? Is it outside the radius? It might be. Yeah, it might be like just outside the radius. Let's go, sun. Explode. Bye bye, sun. And away we go. Alright, so now if this don't work, I will have just destroyed the universe. I wonder, yeah, if it's worth it to, like, see if there's some new dialogue with myself. Because if I could literally be like, hey, can you just jump into the black hole every 22 minutes for the rest of however long? Hey, Slate, uh... Did you know there's a laser pointed at your head? Like I'm being scanned or something? Creepy. I haven't heard that ghost story before, actually. I'll have to use it on Hornfalls sometimes. Yeah, well, you won't be able to because we're all going to die. What a fun game this is. Yeah, we all got our lasers. Can I talk to you about your laser? Yeah, 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 I'm blasting off. Bye-bye. No, I want to say bye. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that really it? Is the model ship counts? That's amazing. Could I leave my ship here instead and land the model ship on Ashtwin? Since they've added new dialogue to Slate, maybe some other people have some. But yeah, look at that. Literally everyone is just getting scanned by some aliens. Well, that was a waste of my precious time. I hope it's... I hope what is presumably the end game isn't too time sensitive. I was gonna say, guys, that'd be rude if you're not pointing lasers at Tektite. It's just coming up through the ground. So, alright, step one complete. Or I suppose, step one was already complete, that's clone myself. Step two is now complete. And we have eclipsed the sun. Step three. Land on Ash Twin. Oh yeah, it hadn't occurred to me that I can't actually use these warp towers yet. I reckon Slate is the only one with changed dialogue anyway. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Updating the star charts, eh? Well, good news. 22 minutes, you'll be done because there won't be no more stars to chart. Just saying hi. Ugh, man. 
Maybe get a good like four minute snooze. And that's four minutes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why the, the thorns turn so much. I don't mind just because the sort of comical nature of it takes away a bit of the abject horror of what it represents. Oh yeah, this part isn't necessary at all, too. This is just my, like, hope that they did add dialogue. Alright, so. Since I jumped through the Ash Twin Project last time, I came out a white hole here in the past, and here is me. Um, I'm gonna go with Ah. What have we done? Jumping into that black hole was a terrible idea. Uh, uh. Right. So jumping into the black hole is definitely what created the two of us. What do you think if you don't jump into the black hole again? If I don't, then where did you come from? No, but you gotta... You gotta go back into there. If I don't jump back in, we all die. Okay, well, <laughs> this was a waste of time then. I was really hoping I could be like, hey, can you please jump into the black hole at the end of the loop? Okay, good. I think this is the Timber Hearth one. Please be straightforward and just open the door and let me in. <laughs> I've done nothing productive so far in this time. Where does sand at? There's the sand. I hope there's no holes in the ceiling. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Now. Okay, anyway. Oh, no, I just missed Timber Hearth, actually. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, unless it. No. That's the Bramble one. Yeah. He's so good though. It does all come together. Like the missing singularity is good. It's because now I can get back a lot easier. Okay. Mount Timber Hearth. Jeez. <laughs> Dark Bramble jump scare. Um, yeah, and it's right over here. I think it's that one up there. That's a lot of marshmallows, dude. Do you need that many? Hornfels insisted I bring this recorder with me to document any unknown Nomai artifacts. If you ask me, I think they're being a little too optimistic. I'm not going to find anything of interest on such a routine expedition. Oh well. Here we go. Here we go anyway. Slate's expedition day. Blah blah. Slate's expedition log day one. I'm out here by the old Nomai ruins to see if I can scrounge up an intact warp core or two for the hatchling. Gotta get their scout properly equipped before they set out for the stars. I found some pretty quickly by that weird spiral ruin. Four of them were even still intact. Jackpot. I may have gotten a bit of a late start though and the sun's already setting, so I might as well make camp here before heading back. Good thing I brought plenty of marshmallows, eh? Ah, what's going on? Wait, no. Get back here. Take that. Okay, calm down. What the heck? What was that thing? I woke up to this faint ringing noise. Almost too quiet to hear. When I opened my eyes, my campfire was moving. It just lifted into the air like something had grabbed it. Then it floated off into the sky like some kind of ghost. I whacked at it with my marshmallow stick. And it sounded like I hit something. But it just kept going. It even took the warp cores I found too. That can't have been real, right? I must have had too much sap wine recently. I'm going back to the village and never camping here again. Hornfells can make one of the other travelers go find a core. Right. Oh, that is... That is red. So that's where they got their, uh... Their campfire from. Okay. 
All systems green. Oh yeah. Yep. So duplicating myself did it. Going Ash Twin did it. I've read this, right? Online, connect to Hatchling. Stabilizer active. Probe transmitter operational. Transmission successful, data integrity 99. Right. Right, so they transmitted like forever ago. The other thing is leaking, hence the ghost matter. One of the things is intact. Tertiary one was ejected and it is the interloper. And yeah, that's just about the interloper. So if I go on the other side here, we left our home body to escape conflict and to pursue our curiosity. For 207 cycles, we drifted peacefully upon the astral sea until we made a discovery we were unprepared to face. We first encountered macroscopic quantum phenomena 156 cycles after setting out upon our journey. A single rock, mobile when un unobserved, but more soon followed. Mountains, then asteroids, then entire bodies as we approached the epicenter. As we hung in orbit around the vortex, I studied it. Its properties were esoteric, and its influence extensive. Not even the basic structure of the galaxy remained consistent. Entire systems shifted at its whim. When we realized what it meant, we developed a plan, the Astral Codec, a means of transmitting information through the vortex. We recorded all we could and sent our final desperate cry into the abyss. Okay, so they did send a message into the eye. What's this then? I don't know what these symbols are meant to represent. I would think that they were the planets, but I can't tell. Oh, it's not paused. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. Not a million or a billion cycles from now in some distant future. Right now, happening around us as we watch. Powerless to stop it. Yeah, no kidding. A dozen or more cycles, and there won't be anything left. No more homebody racked by conflict. No more of any of the myriad of species and cultures we've encountered in our travels. No more campfires under the stars. Except that's not true. Scientist at least believes there will be something after. If anyone is reading this, then I guess she was right. But again, that won't last forever. Someday, someone will again face the end. We cannot survive what is coming, but at least some of our stories can, and now yours have a chance too. Together we can create an unbroken thread of memory, stretching across eons in the vast astral sea. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, and then I gotta read this in the middle. <laughs> we use the astral codec to transmit every story, every piece of information we re could record before the end. If you're reading this, our message must have made it through the vortex intact. Take it. Add your own stories and knowledge, and pass it onwards through the vortex in whatever way you can. Together we can keep the thread of memory alive. Tests passed. Codex safeguards disabled. Core activated. Insert device for download. Yeah, downloaded quick, bud. <laughs> Is that the sun exploding down there? Do I retrieve it? Oh. Well, sun's certainly happening. Hmm. I don't think it's happening fast enough, though. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Okay, it played the you broke the fabric of space-time sound effect, but nothing happened. <laughs> hmm. Did I download? I'm looping. So I can only, you know, hope that that means that my clone decided to jump into the black hole. So the moral of the story is don't, uh, don't sit around so long. I think I wasted a lot of time there. 
Okay, well, the fabric of space time is intact. Yeah, there's more to explore there. It contains someone's final message. It contains the stories of a long gone people. It could be used to preserve our own. Used to transmit a message from a dying universe with hope to be remembered. Oh, is that so that's like the whole point then, is I'm just I'm only gonna be able to add our story to it. Okay, this time uh less waiting around. Once again, this part's <laughs> not strictly necessary. I'm just like, surely there's going to be dialogue then. Because my clone must have jumped into the thing. Or my clone's not there. Oh, what if my clone's not in there? That'd be bad. Please be there. You're not there. Oh, you're kidding me. Bro, where'd you go? Oh, that's so tragic. You really tell- I gotta do it again. Oh, I gotta do it again. And it takes, like, multiple loops to set up. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, yeah, you're off. <laughs> Ugh, why? Why? Blah, blah, blah. Is this what the singularity was in? Oh, hey. Sample collection report item. Writing, implement, slash musical instrument. Time retrieved. T minus 2,462 mega hours. Translation utility high. Status language database extracted. Well, that makes sense then. I cannot uh, convert mega hours to thousands of giga hours. So, not sure <laughs> uh, what the timeline on that is, but. Good for them. Okay, this time I'm not gonna skill issue. Hey, so this is a uh, editing me here from the future. I'm skipping over redoing the three safeguards here because apparently I could have just gone back to the lingering chime and the ending would have just happened. Uh, the wires were still all red, but the ending device itself was actually still active. So I'm just gonna skip to that part now since you get the idea. Everything is green. We go to the other side. We read this. <laughs> like 30 minutes later. We use the astral codec to transmit every story, every piece of information we could record before the end. If you're reading this, our message must have made it through the vortex intact. Take it. Add your own stories and knowledge and pass it onwards through the vortex in whatever way you can. Together, we can keep the thread of memory alive. I mean, so this doesn't help me, though, right? You, they've already sent their message through the vortex. You know? You can't add our message to it. It's already sent. So I guess we get forgotten forever. <laughs> but hey, I disabled all the safeguards, so I can insert my device for download. There you go. Mm. 
I'm gonna stand back. <laughs> Turn one of the things off. Does that matter? <laughs> oh. Seemingly not. <laughs> okay. It's very reminiscent of the uh the scene at the eye, right? The flashing sphere. But sure, I'll write an addendum. An addendum by the hatchling. Oh, I'm gonna reflect on Harthians. I am a Harthia. A young species, but the bravest I know. We play music and roast marshmallows with friends around a campfire. Despite the many dangers of the solar system we call home, our space program has recently allowed us to take our first steps towards the stars. Oh, I remember the Nomai. The Nomai were true scholars, always curious about the nature of our universe. Relics of their search for knowledge are spread throughout this solar system. will mourn their fate. Tragically, the Nomai that settled in the solar system were wiped out by an explosion of ghost matter released by a damaged fuel geode from the lingering chime. They would have been fascinated by this discovery if they had survived. And me. Trapped within a time loop of the Nomai's creation, I have uncovered the deepest mysteries of the outer wilds. I will do what I can to make sure they are not forgotten. No. <laughs> I screenshot that so I can report that typo. Signed, The Hatchling. Hmm. Kodak downloaded successfully. Pass it onwards. Oh, like meaning I go to the eye? I don't gotta do that right now, do I? <laughs> hey, it's editing me again once more, and the answer to my question is no. I did not have to go right now. Uh, there was barely any time left in the loop, and it went quite poorly. Anyway, I'm still gonna show some of the footage from that, though, because there was actually some new dialogue that I found. Oh my gosh, how many times have I been to the Ash Twin Project today? Hey buddy, what happened that other time? when you just cease to exist and the universe didn't explode. It worked. We increased the population. Glad I could help. Teamwork makes the dream work after all. At least I think I remember Hal saying that once. I can't believe the population quota we needed was just barely in reach. What a coincidence. Okay, that's... Uh, eh, okay. <laughs> This ain't going well, man. This is not going well at all. Oh wait, yeah. I do not know... <laughs> ...where the vessel is at all. <laughs> oh, that's the sun exploding. Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> the end, I guess. <laughs> uh, I sure did. 
Oh, that's it. That's that's the mod. I'm gonna have to do that again. Unless. Maybe I can just go to the eye. I can just go to the eye and it'll be fine. Maybe, you know, the knowledge in my scout is preserved between loops. Okay, so I've come back <laughs> to the mod and I've been told that if my scout has fancy particles all over it, that I'm still good to just go to the eye and get the proper ending. And there we go. So my scout has downloaded the codec. The fact that this is just a question mark, but that there's no... Right? Like... Am I missing something here? Um... But yeah, I added what I knew to the message. The Astral Codec has been downloaded onto my little scout. I was asked to pass it onwards through the Vortex. Uh, so let's do that. I don't know if I have the speed to get past these. Yeah, I think I do. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, wait, I don't even have... What, what am I even doing? I didn't bring... I didn't get... I didn't get nothing. I didn't bring nothing with me. <laughs> don't hit Timber Hearth. Crack open the Ashtwin project. Yoink the advanced warp core. This time, let's hope the sun don't explode. I know the coordinates, I have the thing. Let's not forget the scout. That'd be so bad, hey? Eh? It's like you have to you have to shoot the scout into the vortex. I don't think there's any other way you can lose. The scout also oh that's so funny. The the vessel, the ship that they're counting. <laughs> they're counting the vessel. That's fun. Now we do the speedrunning trick where you do this, and then you like fling yourself backwards as fast as you can. Except I didn't jump, so I'm not being flung at all into the air. And then you you boost and you fly out the door before the collision loads. Oh wow! No, yeah, it really is just like so. That's just like the ghost matter explosion leaking out into space. That is so cool. What a great detail. Also, oh no. Since I didn't like meet Sol in them or anyone cool in this playthrough, the next universe is gonna be kind of bland looking. Go on without me. Cool. Well, I did it. <laughs> Carried on the message. Oh, it's the stuff of nightmares. Oh. I'm gonna go to a weird room and watch myself die and become a big space baby. Uh. 
Why is that so blue? Oh. <laughs> right. A little scout just like this one is now home to the Astral Codec, a means of transmitting information via the eye passed to us from the universe before ours. Although the Codex authors are long gone, they have given us the opportunity to save the story of this universe from being lost to the depths of time. If it is released into the eye, the Astral Codec will pass onwards into the next universe, preserving a thread of memory for eons to come. In case that part I was unclear on, I didn't realize that they were from a previous universe. That's interesting too, that also sort of harkens back to other uh, uh, plans that the devs had originally had, again for the DLC. So in this, the Lingering Chime is this like two-sided you know, coin thing. Um, same was originally true for like the DLC, like their original plans for the DLC would said it would take place on a thing like that. And then even before that, they had, you know, said in like podcast interviews, whatever, that they were going to do like a shard of the previous universe, one that you would only be able to see by using uh, by using your, your camera. And there would be an invisible planet, you know, visible only through your camera. And then that invisible planet instead became, well, you know, spoilers for the DLC. <laughs> but if you played it, you, you can see uh, where that would go. Yeah, how did I miss that they were from a previous universe? That's why I was confused when they were like, oh, we've sent the thing into the eye. You know, I was like, oh, so their ship here in our solar system that's killed everyone, it has already transmitted its signal. So what am I doing adding an addendum to it? That part really went over my head. I saw your shadow pop in. Well, you can't fool me, Esker. You hear music? Oh, um, <laughs> kinda. Translation probe astro. Not really here, <laughs> are you? So, yeah, you can't really turn your light on and off on these guys. So three beams, three, uh... Nope, oh, never mind, now there's four. I was gonna say three safeguards, but no. There's four, that don't make sense anymore. Um... Signal transmit... Archivist. Signal transmitter online. This place will not be easily lost. Scientists, then our part has reached its end. We've sent our spark upon the unknowable sea. All that remains is to wait and to hope. Our universe may now be cold, but the experiences it contained will breathe life into the next. With luck, the astral codec will soon hurtle into a newborn universe, preserving the past and recording the future. I hope the next universe is different. More curiosity, you know more willing to seek out knowledge amongst the stars, like we did. I desire for them to preserve our story. I fear that they will not, that we are but a dwindling specter of a forgotten people. I hope it inspires them. Maybe they'll tell it to each other around a campfire someday, and it will remind them that the Astral Sea isn't as lonely as it appears. I hope that they will broaden it. It could become the prologue of a saga stretching trillions of years across dozens of universes. One day someone else will stand here in this place. They'll be facing the end of all they know. I hope they find this echo. I hope they feel comforted knowing that we came before. That they are not alone. The time has come, friends. Shall we collapse the possibilities laid before us? A final coda to a dead universe. 
and a prelude to what comes next. Hmm. Is that what they looked like? <laughs> It's just goat people all the way down, huh? Is that everyone? Yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> Ignoring like the big space uh, for the people I'm missing. Should I begin? Yep. You got it, I'll do my best. One, well, here I go. Can I start? Yes. That's nice. They're playing too. Here goes nothing. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yeah. You guys got anything left? No. Oh, and this is like them singing around their campfire with the orb above it. I should get back to mine. <laughs> uh. So that's Astral Codec. Great mod, really good work by Walker and the rest of the mods team. So one thing I really didn't clue into until the very end is that the Lingering Chime was some kind of remnant from a past universe. I got confused a few times about the, the timeline of it all happening up until the very end when it was explained in the museum. Anyway, uh, here are the rest of my thoughts from when I finished playing the mod. But yeah, so thoughts on the mod. Um, I did breeze through some of the early stuff, and that is because I, I had playtested it before. I still think that like some of the early stuff is pretty straightforward. I can't imagine it would have taken me that much longer had I not already known. Um, they added some good new puzzles. I particularly liked uh, the one where you learn about the interior of Dark Bramble for solving the Eclipse safeguard. How. You have to shoot your probe in through a thing for it to in through a wall, a window that only it can fit through, to trigger a warp pad. Then you go to where the scout came out and then you take the return pad to get back in. That was like really unique. I don't think there's anything like that in the base game. So like completely unique new puzzle using base game mechanics. Really smart, really cool. Uh, felt good to solve. The bramble thing, I mean that's just fun, you know? making that be a gameplay mechanic that's kind of fun even though it's like kind of jank right like having your ship in it doesn't make it appear even though you would think it would since what the nomai were saying was like oh it's it's based on whatever <laughs> this is based on something being inside dark bramble but then like your ship's in there but like since your ship doesn't see anything it doesn't count Watch my video on where does Outer Wilds put its pocket dimensions, but like statistically, you're watching that video, you're not watching this video. <laughs> and I did make it after learning about this through uh, Astral Codec in my like original playtest of it like a year ago. So uh, shout out them for my YouTube success. Thank you, Walker, <laughs> for, for creating my YouTube channel. 14.3 billion years later, the Astral Codec is rediscovered. 